Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on walkers. So let's just jump straight into it. Alright, so let's get started. So first we're gonna place some 2x4s down and then place the cockpit right on top. And make sure to do this too high, such as it like this. And we're just gonna do that real quick. And now what you want to do, you want to get servos and place two on each side. Make sure these are even, although you're going to have to pay attention in the future. So let's just do that. There we go. Now we're done. And now what we want to do, we want to make like the track portion of it. Or what's actually going to turn it, my bad. So we're going to place that with the ends on the other side. And we're going to repeat it. Also, we're going to make sure that they are alternating and that they are not broken like they currently are. Like, this would not work. Sorry about that. Okay, so what you want to do, make sure they're in the front. So that's how it should look. And now you want to get more servos. I ended up just copying it. Make sure you rotate it. And feel free to copy again. That. Sorry for the left audio, just concentrating. And then we're gonna repeat the same on the other side. Copying does not have to be specific yet, but it will be have to be in the future. All right. So now once we have that, you want to fill in and actually make the track part. Sorry. So just fill it in, make sure they're connecting, like that, just, just copying it and put it on top, and we're going to make it one off. This is like the exact details of how I made my own one. If you want, I can make a showcase on that. Now we're just going to copy that whole thing, and put it on the other side. Make sure you use the arrow keys, really helpful. The lightning. Tricky, a little bit finicky. But should otherwise be fine. Now it won't work because we have not done the specific settings that you need to put in in order for it to work. So now what you want to do is this. First set the motors to 2 and this I'll set only the outside ones. Sorry, only the outside ones should be set to 2 as I'm showing you right now. And now on one side, you want to flip the control scheme for it, such as it will default to W, and now you want to default it to S, which I'm showing you currently. Let me just do that. Make sure to do it for every one of them. All right, for future servers, you most likely won't have to do this. And now feel free to test out. Test out. As you can see, it's going forward like it should, basically. Now let's get on building legs. So what you want to do, you want to go three down. I'm just scrolling down there, so it goes three. Then you want to grab four, two by four, and just line that up. You, can, I believe, put it on the bottom. Make sure that's a line on the front. Otherwise, it would be problematic if it was in the back. Probably tip over. And let me just line this. Okay. Now what you want to do. Extend it by two. And now. What you want to do is go. Seven down. Three. Six. Seven. Yeah. Seven. And now we're going to start making one. So now you want to surround the bottom, very bottom piece with the suspension. This will make it uh, more stable for when you start testing it and start using it. I'm just showing you the best optimized feet. It's kind of weird. But it works. And then you want to go down with those right there. Do it for the other side. And then you want to make 
and repeat it for that, except have it three wide. And make sure to do it on both sides. Still. Yep. There. And then you can just copy it. And move to the other side. See, that's the complete foot right there. Now what you want to do, you want to fill in the very middle. Make sure both sides are connecting. And then you want to go get some weights. I feel weighting the feet makes it more stable, so it really helps. Or at least that's what's worked for me. I don't know, you guys could try new things. Let me just do the other side here. And now we want to fill in those little empty gaps with just the two. Yeah, just copy the other one so you don't have to waste the time aligning it again. And now you can just copy there, copy there, and then copy there again. And now it's mostly complete, but what you want to do is get the streamline parts. Let's just do that. By extending it outwards towards the direction it's coming out to, it'll make it more stable because it has more footing. Yeah, just have a little bit trippy. And now since that's complete, you want to align it. Or, my bad, not align it. Copy it to the other side. Ugh. Ah, oh, this is actually a pain in the butt. Okay, there. I think I selected it. And let's scroll it over. And then it's unaligned. Yeah, so just keep it aside. Delete it. Try selecting the whole thing again. Which is when it's giving us issues. And then we're just going to put the finishing touches, align it, for some reason it's unaligned again, I have no idea how that even works. Sorry, if you hear phone call in the background, maybe. That may be problematic. Uh, just like this selecting. Okay, I think I managed to get it. There we go. And now we're going to do... The important part. So that's the very, very basic part of the build. So now what you want to do, you get use servos, but don't use that one. Just copy those so they already have the settings that you already put on. And I had put two on earlier, I forgot to explain. I personally find that to be the best motor setting for the motors or for the servos that actually turn it the best. And now you want to put like this gear thing in the middle. So e when each one turns, it's like turning the other one and helping the other one move. Otherwise, it won't work. So that's what I'm doing right now, which is making the gear thing. Selecting a bunch of random things, looks like. And do that in the middle. Make sure to make it too thick. And as you can see, it's misaligned. That's what I'm trying to figure out. And so I just copy that. Use the arrow keys to move it down one. And I'm about to place the second one right there. I'll just finish filling that in, copy, and then copy the top, do the other one on top, so I don't have to rotate everything again. Copy that. So there, that's that complete. Now the whole thing is complete, and I believe it's ready to use. Now let's just hop in. See, and now you have a fully functioning two leg wall. It's not the fastest, but you can probably mess around with the motors to find out what makes it go faster. But it's otherwise stable, won't really fall over. And there, just repair it one time. So, thank you guys for watching the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something. And thanks for tuning in. See you guys next time.